Welcome to The Simpler Life, where today we're going to turn this setup for our kitchen we have now, which is horribly messy with our homemade sink. We're going to redo another one, and we're going to do it right this time. And, you know, we're going to have to clutter all this out. We're going to turn this into this. Now to get started, well, I'm going to have to replace this. We're taking this out. I got a whole new bowl. We're going to do it right because the way I made this one, which don't mind the dirt, don't judge me, uh, is we just drilled holes in here and then we super glued a funnel underneath it. At one point in time, it was just super glued a funnel. It ran over into this jerry can, which was our gray water tank. Uh, we are going to do it the right way with actual plumbing. It's going to have the you know PVC stuff getting into there. I'm going to have a drain with a stopper. You know clean it up this is gonna go this is gonna get organized this down here is a false floor we're gonna cut this false floor out to give us a little more clearance while we're down here and uh, I'm about to show you everything I'm about to use okay so here is everything that we are going to use on this little remodel so we're gonna do it right like I said we actually got a actual sink drain instead of just drilling holes with a funnel glued underneath it which worked pretty good until you started pouring hot water down there hot water starts you know i guess remelting that glue and then the funnel fell off and that's why we no longer can use our sink so we're gonna do it the right way this time we have the sink stuff we have our dap which is going to go around the bottom lip of our new sink which is a free bowl i just salvaged we're going to need some plumber's putty to secure the sink down need the hole to make the size on the bottom of the pan i mean the bottom of the this little bowl and then we're gonna need the fixtures on where the gray water is running to and this will go into that jerry can that we you saw in the back of there and then of course we're gonna need a little old uh a sharp object how about that we're gonna call it that razor blade to get up the old putty and the old silicone that is on the old one and we'll do a massive cleanup all righty Step one, let's drill a hole. There we go. Okay, ah, look at that. There's my hole. This will be for the drain port. You can see where I nicked the edge right there. I should have our cap. Put our hole. And yeah, this seems pretty nice, actually. It's right under there. Noodle out of it. I go right here. No problem. I know I used too much, but I'll squeeze that extra out. We can always cut that extra out. no reason to remove the outside of it because the threads are on the inside of this if anything that'll help better hold it into place so I'm just gonna actually go around and just smush it make sure it's making good contact okay so one thing I do notice is that this mixture is for you know sinks that have a higher gap in it so there won't be anything between the two. So I just puttied it up. I want to make sure that stays in place. And this, all that's holding this in here is a bead of sealant or caulk. So let's just start ripping her up. Out with the old, in with the new. And mainly just because I'm really just trying to avoid doing it to the last minute. All the stuff in here has got to go. It's got to get cleaned out. Propane tanks, you know, the cans, this stuff. It's all got to get out of here, but I'm just procrastinating. So next thing I'm going to do is clean up this seal. That's what I'm going to do. That'll give me something to do. All right. That's probably going to be too boring for y'all to watch, so I'm not going to show you. All right. There she is in all her glory. Dirty and all. Well, I do have this all cleared out. I think I'm going to cut this out probably from about right here to 
all the way over here. That'll give us more room to put things, be a little bit more secure, and give us our space back, you know? Okay, next step, I'm gonna be a giant hole. Let's see it. Look guys, we made a hole. <laughs> Welcome back, and it looks like there's a lot that's been different, but don't worry, I didn't really do much. All I had to do was, I figured out the positioning of the sink, or bowl sink, and uh, caulked it down, and that's why there's, all of our canned foods are in there. Uh, the center here, all I had to do is screw the bottom piece in, and now I'm just working on the uh, plunger part to make the thing you know release water or keep water seeing where I'm gonna put the little hole at for that do my jiggy uh, that's other other than that that's it I went ahead and pieced together how the P trap and everything's gonna go so it's gonna slide into here and then that is flexible and so that will bend down in towards our tank which is our like I said our gray water tank uh, next step though is to get the this do my jiggy hanging up in here so it pulls it up and down and I think I'm going to drill a single hole about right there in between that piece of dirt and this piece of dirt let me see go back and forth mm -hmm. giggity okay now I am just sitting here waiting for pretty much glue to dry so I figured I can go ahead and install my new water pump I uh, picked it up at Orschelin's uh, the cheapest one they got because the cheapest one they have is the slowest one they have. Let me see, one gallon per minute. I don't want anything stronger than that. So we're very conservative on our water, anyways, and it's a 12 volt because my whole system right here is running off of a 12 volt. So I'm gonna get it mounted, and then uh, it's gonna feed through that tiny little hole in the very back corner, and that's where I will work on the wiring because I have more room once I remove all that stuff, which is gonna have to go. I it's crazy because my wife is about to be home in about an hour and uh this house it is really messy but i got a lot to do really quickly so if i miss something i apologize it's so cool we now have a drain it's dirty in there because we have been using it this is the next day after all the glue and stuff is dried, which is really cool. We have all that going on. I was able to install the new water pump, which is back there. It's just a one gallon per minute. I did have some issues with it. I didn't have it. We plugged it up, got it running. Uh, I wired it to a switch so I can keep it on and off. Um, but you have to prime these. Did not know that. My last one, I did not have to prime it. Uh, so lesson learned for me on that one. But this is our water tank. We have four of these. We'll exchange those as needed. And then we can see now there's so much more professional uh, pump going on. Because the last one, like I said, was literally a funnel we glued to the bottom of this. And uh, it had a, a rubber hose that went to this tank. And that's how we were expelling our gray water. Now, I don't have to worry about pouring. If any hot liquids go in here, it doesn't shatter this at all. And uh, it's just nice. It works all well. The switch I directed, so you can see the plug-in way to the back, right there. It's on the inside of this lip, so all I gotta do is just swap it, and I can turn it on, and then I can drain it. And there's no leaks. This is really great. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you want to see any more little DIYs, um, at least some homemade rigs I will be posting some later. I do have a part coming in converting our electrical system to somewhat of a quick and easy shore power is what we'll be doing. Have a, uh, right now this is how we get our shore power. We run an extension cord all the way from in here. It goes all the way around the back, up to here, down to our actual 
box which is plugged in with all of our stuff and we will be changing that out to where we can actually just plug in from outside and power our house that's all we need to power it that will be for the next video thank you guys if you stayed this long and last thing before i let you go i do want to go over pricing and cost okay so i said i got this bowl for free i uh, just found it in uh, my mom's thing she didn't she wasn't using it no more the plumbing kit for this was seven dollars at home depot um this is really nice it's cool because i like to have me able to have, being able to have the drain and so you have the the drain right there and then you also have the pipe drain this one was a kit at uh home depot the reason why i chose this one is because it has its flexible holes so i can pull it in and out of our gray water tank area um, and there's many other fixtures so you can affix it to reach longer spots or further away spots um, this was $17 and the water pump was 20 bucks like I said, at Orschelin's um, so I mean all together we got a pretty cheap little setup and then you know you got to get the hoses too and I had some extra clippings and I always have extra wires for wiring uh, so we're looking at under 50 for all of this stuff which is pretty nice because compared to you can just spend 50 bucks just to f buy a sink and that does not include all of the goo doomajiggies and gadgets this is very budget friendly and I, I i quite like that anyways i am done talking and y'all stay tuned